Where you going, baby? Nah, you don't have to go nowhere. Celebration. Stay. Celebrate and run. Uh. You celebrate being sexy. Cut it all, hang out. Now don't you stay a while, babe. Uh. Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. What? I like your smile and your nice style, babe. Oh, really? Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. Uh. <laughs> Grazie. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day. I am Cab Cabernet, and this is Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crush Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crush Grapes is a lifestyle. Yes, I've been gone for a few weeks, and um, I make no apologies about that. Things to do, and um, you know, I, can, I can't. I, there's not enough time in the day for me to accomplish everything that I would like to accomplish. That's how big I dream, right? I'm a dreamer, and I say. I also only want to taste one wine today. I, I got some surprises for you, okay? Pleasant surprises. And I'm very excited about this episode. But, and I'm, I'm excited to taste the wine I'm going to taste with you, but I got to get rid of this first. Because this is not the wine I'm supposed to be tasting. This is another wine from, uh, you know, from last night. tasting today, ladies and gentlemen, is another grape you've probably never heard of, the Uni Blanc. Um, the Uni Blanc is most likely the, 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 most, the most grown grape or most widely used grape throughout Italy and France. And you've probably never heard of this grape. Why is that? Probably because you're an idiot. You just drink whatever you know, whatever you see, uh, you know, advertised in the magazine of Wine Spectator or some, you know, wine style swampy shit like that. Or um, maybe you just don't know because uh, you don't care. You know, you just want to have a, you know, you have a drink, get drunk. Or you want to know, and that's why you're tuning in to Crush Grapes TV. We'll go with the latter. So, this is called Antigua. Uh, Vina Antigua from Mendoza, Argentina. Okay? And this is a 50 50 blend of Torrentes and uh, Luni Blanc. Uh, Uni Blanc is also used in cognacs. Okay, that's a really fun fact. This grape, this grape is is known for its quantity, not its quality. Uh, but the fact that it's used in so many quality products of wine and wine uh, related alcoholic beverages, uh, such as a cognac or a brandy or a this is actually the same grape used in Ciroc for you Ciroc vodka, you know, supporters, Ciroc boys and all that shit. So, again, you're familiar with the grape because of what you consume made from this grape, but you don't really, really know the name of the grape, so that's why I'm here. Being that it's widely grown in, uh, 
antique, uh, I'm sorry, in, in Argentina, um, it's overshadowed by the Malbec, because the Malbec is Argentina's actual, uh, you know, country, the grape of the country, a country grape, it's like the, the, that is the grape of Argentina, <laughs> right? So that's all you hear about, they're making all these uh, Malbecs, and uh, that's a red wine. So, let's try it out. And as you can see, the wine is half full, it means I've already been at it. It's properly chilled, it's hot as dickens out here today in Harlem, USA. Give it a swirl. This is a very simple wine, very, uh, <coughs> high acidity, similar to like a Sauvignon Blanc, in terms of the acidity, uh, or Pinot Grigio. Distinguished finish or anything um, that is going to really stand out with this grape. That's why it's not really known for its quality. It's very drinkable and it's very drinkable immediately. And again, it does wonders in quality wines um, and wine related beverages. But it's just very plain. You know, it's not. It's not. It's not that it's a bad wine or a bad grape or a bad seed, right? It's just that it's it's there's nothing spectacular or, or, or special about it. So, but it's great for the summertime. Um, very easy drinking. Very go with anything type of uh, wine because it's not that that uh, complex at all. Uh, you know. Pair it with anything that's uh, you know the, the usual suspects such as you know white meats and uh, you know seafoods, light foods. It's very light. It's not going to overpower anything at all. But it will be easily overpowered by a lot of things. Uh, sushi would do well with this. Uh, sushi is always good. So it's uh, 2011. It's 12.5% uh, alcohol, so it'll get you where you need to be, um, or where you want to be, and uh, that's about it. Uh, you know, it's nothing spectacular. Um, I'm going to give this wine, uh, for my, 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 my five bottle rating, I'm going to give it a one and a half. Again, not because it's bad, it's just not, you know, it's nothing special at all. And, um, that's what it is. Every, every wine I taste is not going to be great, because that's, that's really, that's politically correct, right? That's ridiculous. Uh, but, uh, what is great, and what is spectacular, is what I'm about to show you right here. Now, you see this burgundy wooden case here, okay, that I'm about to pop open, and um, 
what I have here is something phenomenal. Okay, what I hold in my hand right here, boys and girls, will will all the not the novice as well as the wine swami, uh, so-called specialist. I'm holding in my hand a 1961 Chateau Palmer Margot. What is that? The novice says. And how the fuck did you get that? The wine swami specialist says. Well, wine swami, that's none of your fucking business what I got. Just know that I have it. Okay? Eat your heart out. And for the novice, let me explain to you what this is. This, this is the, this is like a ghost, a phantom bottle of wine. It's, it's the bottle of wine that every, you know, wine specialist lives to drink or taste or even hold. Okay? Most people on the planet have never even held one of these. Much less on coffee and tasted it. Uh, they call it the mythical vintage, 1961. The mythical vintage, and I'm not fucking around. 1961. This is the real shit here. So Chateau Palmer is one of the greatest producers of Margot in France, period. Uh, there are actually, this Margot is only, is only rivaled by Chateau Margot, uh, which is basically right next door in Margot, France. Chateau Palmer is only rivaled by the, so this is, you can call it the number two, if you want. Some people say it's number one. But this bottle itself, in this vintage in 1961, is the mythical vintage. I have, I have wine snobs and, and people in the wine industry, you know, that are famous people, and they don't even believe I have this bottle. And I've told them I have this bottle, and, and, and they, <laughs> I don't believe you. How, how do you have this bottle and I don't? There's a lot of things I have that you don't. Like class, style, grace. Talent, beauty, you know, good looks. But let's not be vain. I want you guys to tune in. I have this bottle on here, not to throw it in your face and rub it in your, not to rub it in your face, but to, but to, to, to let you know that at some point on one of these shows, one day, whether sooner or later. I'm going to open, I'm going to uncork this bottle on this show. And so, if you want to see me taste a bottle of wine that is never, that, that you know, the mythical bottle, you need to tune in to each episode because it's never, you're never going to know when I'm going to taste it. Okay, but I'm going to have it here every episode going forward. You can believe that shit. So let me put this away because, you know, we can't, uh, we can't risk it being damaged. Now, we have another surprise, another, another, uh, another surprise here. Uh, some of you may, may know about this grape here, the Cabernet, Le Cabernet, uh, but this grape is in the form of, of a sneaker. Heard that right. Now, this is the first ever sneaker, handmade, handmade sneaker, made by hand, 100%, influenced by wine. It's called Crushed Grapes Footwear. Um, this sneaker is the only sneaker of its kind on the planet Earth. I'm not sure what's going on in different different planets, but. On this planet, this is the quintessential luxury sneaker. Fuck your sneaker. Fuck your luxury sneaker. You dig what I'm saying? Your luxury sneaker is made out of some cheap 
synthetic PVC leather, plastic, and bullshit, horseshit, dog shit, and it's an it's abomination. It's a bastard, bastardization of the luxury foot, the sneaker uh, uh, industry and market. So fuck your sneaker. Now, your luxury sneaker doesn't come with a handmade cedar wood box. Cherry wood outer cedar wood interior. Your luxury sneaker does not come with a handmade pouch that features a uh, suede nubuck cleaner brush, a shoe horn to slide your shoe on your foot, and of course, a wooden cherry wood corkscrew to uncork your actual wine bottles. Okay, this is this is this is what we're dealing with right here. Now, for the actual sneaker. Now, again, each each model is based after a different wine varietal. So you have here Le Cabernet. This is the flagship model. Le Cabernet is, of course, the Cabernet. So. In this model, we took influence from a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon rather than the grape itself. Because, see, every red wine, Cabernet Sauvignon is a red wine. It's the most famous red wine in the world. But every red wine is red. So you can't make every sneaker red because that's boring, right? So instead of modeling it after the grape itself, we modeled it after a bottle, a typical bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, a typical bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon has certain colors and notes, if you will, accents uh, uh, on, on the bottle. The colors are usually, first of all, the bottle is dark, dark uh, green. Okay, it's tinted. Um, and this varies in different countries. Sometimes you see a black bottle, but a lot of them are, are, are green, dark green. And that is to tint, uh, to keep the wine from, this, you know, tinted from the sun. The sun the sun will spoil the wine if there's too much sun contact. So the tints, the, the tints, the tint in the glass is, is to, to keep the wine protected from the sun. So anyways, um, this sneaker is olive green. It's, it's a dark green. Um, what we did was we took the accents, which are usually gold and burgundy. That's usually the accents on a bottle of Cabernet wine. Uh, green bottle burgundy accents or lines or letters or, you know, what happened. And gold as well. Um, so that's what we did here. The stitching is gold. It's hand stitched. The laces are, are actually thick laces on some b-boy shit, right? Um, but not fat, just thick. And, um, the sneaker, you know, so you don't tie the laces, you know, the laces are, are inside on some deep boy shit. And, uh, you know, the cork leather strip, actual cork, to mimic the cork of a bottle of wine. So we really went in with the attention to detail, as you can see. There's nothing quite like this sneaker. There's even a shoe tree that comes with the sneaker to keep it fresh, which is made out of cedar wood, okay? No expense was spared, okay? Now, now you're asking, um, how much is the sneaker, okay? With all this shit that comes in, right? Okay, there's, a, there's an answer for that, too. $1,500. $1,500 a pair. Now, you might be saying, well, I can buy, uh, you know, a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes for that price, Cab. You know, why would I pay that for yours? And I would tell you what well, you need to go to the store and buy a pair of Louis Vuitton, you know, cheap ass uh, China made bullshit shoes. Because this is not for you. You're not ready for this yet. You're not you're not even on this level. You can buy a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes in Chinatown. 
It looks exactly the same as the shit you're going to buy at Bloomingdale's. It doesn't matter if one, one, uh, one company made it and the other didn't. It's the same product. You know, PVC leather. It's not even real leather. This is what's going on, my friends. Do not be deceived. Handmade craftsmanship. Top-notch quality materials. Attention to detail. Customization. Personalization. We engrave your name. Or, or whatever you want into the actual shoe itself. It's your shoe. We can design your own shoe. What, what do you want your shoe to say? Not uh, some, you know, painters painting some fucking Nike hair dunks. Different colors and designs. No, fuck that. That's a Nike shoe. This is a handmade sneaker from scratch. Your own sneaker from scratch. That's what we're talking about. How much is that worth to you? Let me figure that out. Hit me up. Sales at KGLifestyle.com This is Cap Cabernet on a lazy Sunday afternoon in Harlem, USA. Vigna Antigua, Torrentes, Uni Blanc, 50-50, Mendoza, Argentina. We have Le Cabernet Sneaker, Crush Grapes Lifestyle Products and Services, Crush Grapes Footwear. We have the Mythical Vintage 1961 Chateau Palmer. And you have Mr. Cab Cabernet. And have a fucking nice day. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. Cheers. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet.